In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create and animate a really cool cartoon text bubble effect inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once we've launched up Adobe After Effects, we want to begin by creating a brand new shape by going up to the pen tool and then changing the fill color to whatever fill color you like. So in this example, I'm going to change that to blue and then going over to the stroke and changing this to a color. So I'm going to choose black and increase the stroke size to five pixels. Now take your time to draw out your shape on your video. And in this example, I'm going to draw a star. And as soon as I've completed this, I'm going to go back in and move some of these points just to perfect this shape. And then I'm going to increase the size of the stroke just to make it punch a little bit more. And as soon as I'm happy with this, I'll just position this up to the center and we can move on. So the next part involves generating some text. So we'll go up and create some brand new text by pressing the T button. In this example, I'm going to type wow, but feel free to type whatever you like. And then we need to try and find a cartoon styled font. Now, as soon as you've found that, you can change the size and the color of the text. And for this example, I'm going to change the color of this text to white. And I'm going to add a stroke by selecting this second color box, pulling this down to black, and then increasing the stroke size in this box down here. Now selecting on the text layer, you want to press A on the keyboard to load up the anchor point, And you want to move your text so that this anchor point lies within the middle of the text. This is super important because any animation we make from here with the text will be animated from this anchor point. From here, we're going to go ahead and generate some extra elements. So we'll create a start in this example. So like we did the original shape, you want to go up to the pen tool, select your fill and stroke colors, and then draw out your shape. And then as soon as you're happy with that, you can change the anchor point, copy that shape and paste that multiple different times into your video. So now we currently have six styles within this frame and I'm going to add some extra elements. I'm just going to add some lines just to add some extra oomph to the effect. But feel free to create whatever shapes you would like. Now there you go, that is the cartoon text effect now generated. But now we need to go through the process of animating this. So we'll go down to the shape layer one, that is our big blue star. We'll press S on the keyboard to load up scale. We'll change this to 0% and create a brand new keyframe. Scroll across three keyframes, increase the size of this to 130, and then move across another three keyframes and change this down to 100%. Now, if we watch this back, you can see that this shape bounces into the frame. And now once you're happy with the movement of that first shape layer, we can go into the text layer and we can do the exact same thing animate the scale so that this bounces in. And now once you're happy with that, let's move on to the stars. Select all of the star layers. So select all of those different shape layers, press S on your keyboard and pull the scale down to 0%. Now create a brand new keyframe on all of those shape layers, scroll across and increase the size of all of these to a larger number. So in this example, I'm choosing 180 and then making sure that all of these layers are still selected we'll press P on the keyboard to load up the position and we'll move all of these stars off the frame. Now, once you've completed that, we can pull the cursor head back in time and then one by one, we can move all of these stars into the center of the frame. Now, if we play this back, you can see that these stars explode past the camera and it really helps to emphasize that pulsing big star. But just to reduce the amount of uniform between all of these stars, we're just going to change around some of these keyframes. And this basically means that some stars will travel past the camera faster and others will travel slower. Now we'll go and do the exact same thing to those white lines. We'll decrease the scale to 0%, scroll across and increase this to a larger number so that these appear off screen. Now we've got this really awesome animation taking place, but to take this one step further, I'm just going to add a little bit of rotation to the blue star. So as it pulses in, it rotates a little bit and just adds a little bit more movement to the effect. And there you go. That is how you generate and animate a cartoon styled speech effect inside of Adobe After Effects. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe by pressing that circle icon up there. And also, don't forget to check out the previous video by clicking this rectangle icon just down here.